thought it was uh, George. George, you want to start at first? Okay. Um, so in soft in testing uh, safety critical applications and uh, uh, not only safety critical but also other AI applications, we have to consider both positive and negative situations or normal situations and uh, uh, and uh, uh, invalid situations. And uh, in this kind of testing, Oracle problem is one of the main challenges in which oh. metamorphic testing is a very positive, very good solution. Okay, thank you. How about uh, Isif? You're here, Isif? Yeah. yeah. You give your, you. your message here. Sure. I think that protocol level systems in financial sector represent a good research area. They are not a uh, uh, life threatening, but they still can result in substantial financial losses. But they are at the confluence of uh, well defined requirements and uh, not well defined requirements. So I do believe there are many uh, interesting applications of both applying AI to testing and also testing AI systems in this area. Thank you. Okay, Hong, how about you? Yes, um, my one sentence message to the people is we need a new methodology. Um, the techniques are important. Methodology will give you the uh, a more higher view to the ground and so on. For example, um, well, I have more than one sentence now. Um, they just to say the methodology will give you a better view to the ground. Okay, Francis? Yeah. yeah, so I, I agree with Hong, I have to say. So um, there is a lot of work to do, a lot of research. As we go to the same, to a different methodology, uh, what I also expect is that, that uh, we should also consider some sort of random verification as well. So, so maybe testing is not enough to assure uh, that uh, our system are not killing people. So, mm. Yes. yes. Okay. Way. Yeah. Thank you very, very much for all of you. And uh, we hope, uh, you know, we can continue in the future conference. We, I'm, it's, we probably even can organize some challenge, right? So AI testing challenge, intelligence system testing challenge. Mm -hmm. So we can organize that. So we also look for industrial sponsor, uh, you know, can spread the word around and we can find uh, how do we do that, right? Okay. So anyway, thank you very much for all. And uh, we, if you want to still stay for some discussion, we can hold in for another five to 10 minutes. So otherwise you can join your other sessions. Thank you very much and very nice Thank to you. talk to you guys. Thank you for all Thank the you. panelists. Uh, we also prepared in this panel. Can we please go to the next one? Thank you. Today, I would like to cover a specific type of systems used in FinTech. In my opinion, they are very interesting from a research perspective. According to a joint report by Financial Conduct Authority and the Bank of England, fraud detection is among the most common use cases of AI being applied in the financial services industry. Next one, please. Our company, ExactPro, employs over 600 specialists. We build software to test software for exchanges and clearing houses in 20 countries on all six continents. Orderly and safe operations are very important to run in the platforms that underpin global financial markets. The next, please. Modern exchanges are amazing systems. They process millions of transactions and they do it within the time frames that are two to 3,000 times shorter than the blink of an eye. The reason for that is that most market participants nowadays operate automated programs to implement their trading strategies. In a stock exchange, we basically have a machine that is heavily used by other machines. The next one, please. As regulated entities, 
exchange operators are not only responsible for the technology infrastructure, they also need to identify malicious participants and prevent market abuse behavior. The next one. Uh, the market surveillance platforms receive a feed of all events that happen on the exchange on the trading day, during the trading day, all orders, all quotes, all trades, and all other events. It also frequently receives information from external feeds and is configured to detect patterns in structured and unstructured data. The next one, please. But what's really important is that the line between market manipulation and legitimate trading activity is open fuzzy. It's not like brute force, brute forcing the passwords or sending garbage into a network socket. Buying low and selling high is a valid course of action. Asset prices constantly change. Orders constantly get canceled. Losing money is also common. None of it by itself is abuse. We need to look for intent to abuse the market and not just locate anomalies in the data, but to build the case that there were bad intentions or gross negligence. With market surveillance, we are very close to simulating human judgment in a complex environment, where on the one hand, uh, the protocols of interactions are well defined, but on the other, controversial behaviors are not as defined. Thank you. The next one, please. Uh, rule based systems widely used across the industry have difficulties coping with the growing load and complexity. And one more, please. Uh, and uh, market surveillance has to rely on machine learning more and more. Uh, key players in the field have all announced that they've introduced AI techniques into their systems. So the field becomes more and more packed. Can we go to the next one? But the most interesting question from my point of view is when we are trying to validate such systems. A market surveillance system is a well-defined AI system that looks at other AI systems, algo trading platforms. The complexity of the testing tool rivals that of the system under test. The next one, please. It's like uh, in and yang, we are at the confluence of AI testing and testing AI. It is possible to use market surveillance to test intelligent algo trading. Conversely, we can also use an algo trading simulation to test the market surveillance itself. Uh, it offers a perfect playground for research. Market surveillance systems have complex functionality. It is expected that they can raise real-time alerts for some events and produce offline reports for more sophisticated cases. The next one, please. Uh, can you please switch to the next one? Thank you. Uh, to achieve it, uh, they use advanced technology. There is a strong push towards uh, moving parts of it into the cloud to facilitate uh, large volumes of data uh, processing to perform uh, their function. And the next one. Thank you. Uh, market surveillance systems and machine learning are covered in recent research publication, but I do hope to see more traction in this area in the near future and uh, very much looking uh, forward towards it. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So now let's uh, home to talk about it, your stuff.